Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing with the two new palettes coming from Cosmic Brushes. I am so excited. Cosmic Brushes is one of my favorite brands. I'm so excited because this is my first time getting PR from them. This is just such a fun moment. They have such beautiful formulas, such amazing color stories, and they're adding two more to the mix. This launch is going to be the nude trolls and the cool trolls. I'll be doing close-ups, swatches, all that fun stuff. I'll be doing one look with each palette in this video. And I do intend on doing additional looks over on Instagram and YouTube shorts. So just stay tuned. They'll be coming very, very soon if they're not already up. Both of these palettes are launching on June 21st at 1 p.m. EST. And you can use my affiliate code BattyBean to save on their site. I'll have all of the launch details down in my description box. And now I just super badly want to get into the palettes themselves, do the swatches, talk about them, all that fun stuff, get into the looks. So let's just do that. As far as my accessory details, I'll be giving the details to both before each individual look. So just stay tuned if you're curious about anything. But without further ado, let's just get to swatching. When they started teasing these palettes, the nude trolls and the cool trolls, I'll be honest, I was a little nervous that these were gonna be very safe, very basic, which I shouldn't have doubted Cosmic Brushes because their color stories are so creative and innovative and I shouldn't have doubted them, but I have to be honest, I was nervous. And I am so incredibly pleased with how these actually came out. The neutrals was the one I was the most hesitant on just because I'm usually not a neutral girly and I was just worried this was gonna be riddled with beige. <laughs> but as it turns out, it is not. It is so exciting. Yes, there are two beiges in here, but I mean, I would have been surprised if there were none. Um, but it is so unique. This is such a fun take on a neutrals palette. Neutrals with a twist. We very much have kind of like neutral brown vibes, but sprinkled in, we also have neutral tones of various colors. I love seeing these more like muted neutral yellows, the muted kind of mossy greens. This is what I call neutral green and I love it. Even these very like neutral toned purples at the bottom, like they're not too cool, they're not too warm, they are neutral. This is such a fun way to do a neutrals palette and I'm so here for it. I think this is so creative and I completely approve. I'm so excited about just the overall vibes of this one. And then the one that I like wasn't as nervous about just because even if it was super, super neutral, I do favor cool tones. It's just my favorite, but this one also just blew me out of the water. The cool trolls is just so freaking beautiful. It is riddled with yummy blues, kind of purpley tones. I love these plums at the top. We do have some cool tone neutrals in here, but it's very much like a, cool toned, colorful, moody kind of palette. It's so pretty. I'm just obsessed with all the colors in both palettes. We have such fun contrast between both of them, like very much a choose your fighter kind of situation. Are you feeling more of these like neutral, almost warm leaning vibes, especially compared to this palette over here? I like that with this launch, like there's definitely gonna be something for everyone as far as like, are you more this vibe or more that vibe? There are beautiful multi-chromes, delicious shimmers. The mattes are beautiful. Beautiful. I'm just so excited to play more with these, but this is just kind of a little, a little glimpse into them, some swatches and stuff like that. I'm so impressed so far and I just can't wait to continue playing. But yeah, that's just the overview of the two palettes. Again, these are launching on June 21st at 1 p.m. EST and you can use my affiliate code BattyBean to save. Thanks so much Cosmic Brushes for sending me these early so I could play with them. This video is not sponsored or anything. I'm doing this on my own free will, but I am so very excited that I was able to do this for you. And now without further Further ado, let's just hop in, do my two looks, one with each palette, and then at the end, I'll give you my thoughts so far. All right, hello, hello. Look number one with the Cool Trolls palette. I'm just really feeling this vibe for look number one. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. As far as my accessories go, I don't know where these earrings are from because they were a gift. I believe this necklace is old from Raven Beads and this ring is just an old ring from a boutique I got in New York years ago, so. There you have it. But let's dive into the Cool Trolls palette. I really, I can't decide, I'm torn. Like I'm really attracted to the blues, obviously, but I'm also really interested in these like kind of plummy burgundy shades. So I'm almost thinking, what if I kind of focus on the plummy burgundies on the top and then maybe do some smoky blue stuff on the bottom? I think that could be fun. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by priming with my DD Signature Cookie Primer. I've really been enjoying this lately. I've been using it the last like week or so. It's nice. Just gonna use this little concealer brush from Makeup by Mario. I just do a thin layer of it and my shadows seem to apply really, really nicely on top of it. The brand recently came out with like 
I think like seven or eight different shades of primer. Some are even in funky colors. So I've been enjoying playing around with these. So I think I wanna start with the shade Natural. I'm gonna use this little Sigma E49 brush and I'm just going to start kind of placing this in the outer corner of my lid. And I'm just gonna do tiny little circular motions, just sort of blending and building that shade. I'm so excited about new Cosmic Brushes palettes. It's been since what, like last December or even November when we got the, the winter palette so pretty and i'm just so excited to have more because this is one of my favorite brands they have just such beautiful formulas all right so kind of sort of something like that to start with i'm going to blend that out a little with grounded i'm just going to use my sigma e 40 brush i'm going to just start fluffing it through like pretty much all the way through the crease inner to outer corner and just working on kind of fluffing and blending and flicking this outwards uh leaving the lower lash line blank because as I mentioned before, I want to kind of save blue for the lower lash line, but this is kind of where I want to get things going. I like these colors. These are pretty. I don't play with plummy tones like this too often, not even intentionally. I feel like it just, I don't know, isn't the first thing I reach for lately. It's also, I feel like, not in a lot of things lately. Um, so this is, this is fun to kind of have this going. So I do want to deepen things up. I'm going to be using Eclipse, actually, this really, like, sparkly black. We'll see if the sparkle actually sticks. Um, if it does, that's fine, but I'm just not expecting it to because usually shades like this don't. I'm going to use the Sigma E45, and I'm just going to tap this right up against, like, my lashes and kind of creep it up a little bit in the outer corner. I don't want this to take over. I just want this to add a little bit of depth and accents. To the look i'm gonna take and put a little of this just in the outer corner of my lower lash line as well i'm just gonna kind of go back through with my previous brushes and again focus mostly on the upper lid i'll be smoking out that bottom in a moment but just for up here i'm just kind of taking little little bits of product and tiny motions just to blur that a little bit i'm kind of doing that with both shades and both brushes i was using previously just getting that nice and soft. So I do wanna go ahead and apply my lid color on the lid itself before doing the lower lash line, so let's do that. Taking my NYX Glitter Primer, of course, to prep before shimmer. I'm gonna use this little Sigma E28 brush and I'm just going to tippy tap this around. Get a nice sticky base. I'm not gonna be doing any cut creases or anything. I just want this to be really smoky and blown out. And I am so attracted to this Gravitate shade, so that's what we're gonna use. On that same sticky brush, oh, that's so pretty. I'm just going to pop this all over the lid. This is so pretty. I'm just gonna continue smearing this all over my lid. I'm gonna take my biggest fluffy brush I was using just to blend around the edges to get it all blurred together. I'm loving this. I think this is so pretty. You could totally just like add on to this look and do more of those mattes on the lower lash line, but I did want a little bit of that contrast, so we're gonna do the blues on the bottom. I did want to start with like a dark blue eye pencil to just kind of get a base going a smoky base before i go in with more blue this is the shade time by milk makeup and i'm just going to smear this all up in my waterline and kind of drag it right underneath my lashes just to get it really really smoky sort of like that and i'm going to take the shade midnight now i'm going to use this little sigma e30 brush and i'm just going to smear this all over my lower lash line just getting that liner kind of blurred a little bit more we are getting very blown out which is what i wanted i'm gonna take the shade hidden now i'm gonna use this e45 max brush from sigma and i'm just gonna start going to town on this lower lash line i'm just taking little bits at a time i'm gonna wipe my brush off periodically so it doesn't get too flooded with dark blue and i will just keep kind of adding more and just slowly blending and blurring that lower lash line out until i'm satisfied with it and it's already blending really really nicely i'm really liking that really liking this vibe i like this contrast i like how heavy it is it's so cool i'm gonna add a little bit more of eclipse to just like the outer corner of that upper lid and the outer corner of that lower lash line just for a little bit more depth with this sparkly black and again i do feel like the sparkles just kind of dust away but again that's really what i expect out of shades like this i feel like this added a little bit of smokiness just really like i don't know like the cherry on top it's nice just a little extra blending here and there i feel like i kind of want to use artifact a little bit in my inner corner i don't know why i'm just kind of feeling this i'm positive i'm gonna top something sparkly over it but i don't know something about this like soft lavender periwinkle is just really cute i will just softly blend the edges of that just a tiny bit so to top over that inner corner and also to be my face highlight i'm thinking reveal would be really cute just using the spectrum b08 for my face oh i like that 
has like a soft blue shift to it that's really really pretty and then just pop a little of that also in the inner corner i feel like that'll just tie it all together i really like what is happening here it feels very like enchanting a little villainous it's very cute here is the first look with the cool trolls palette and i just love this i love it so much i love the combination of these like plummy tones with the blues it is so moody and just so just dramatic and fun and dark and i love it and obviously you could do things with this palette that are more light and airy um but so far i'm just loving the cool toned moody vibes i think it's so cool the lashes i ended up throwing on are flirt from bright lashes and then my lip today is mercury wave from kaleidos i just felt like it fit so well and I just love everything about this. I think this is so fun. I, so far, I'm just feeling so excited and just so impressed. At a new Cosmic Brushes palette, I'm excited to get into the second look with the Nude Trolls palette. I'm excited to do more looks with these palettes over on like Instagram and YouTube Shorts. I just have so many ideas and I'm feeling good, so. Yeah, this is look number one. I hope you like it. Let's move on now to look number two. Alrighty, friends, look number two. All I have for my accessories are these earrings, which unfortunately were a gift from a friend. So I don't know where they're from, so I can't tell you where to get them. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's move on now to the Nude Trolls palette. I'm honestly so stoked. I just, I love the kind of like dusty desert vibes in this palette it's so pretty i'm so attracted to the mustards obviously like this is like one of my favorite colors in the entire world and i also want to play with some of these purples i just think that would be a fun combo so i think that's my plan today um let's just uh, get started i'm gonna prime again with that cookie primer from dd signature i'm so excited about this look i think it's gonna be so fun i'm just feeling really good about both of these palettes i know i've like already said that but I just, it, it feels good to feel just super excited about makeup. I feel like in general I am, but there's something about one of your favorite brands releasing something new that just really gets me going. So let me go ahead and start with Icon, that delicious, beautiful, perfect mustard yellow. I'm gonna use the Sigma E27 brush. This is one of my favorite brush shapes of all time, just to like really kind of pack on like that outer corner and start blending through the crease. This is such a good color. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I think I'm gonna do something very just warm, toasty up top with like the yellows, maybe one of those like orangey browns. Um, I think that'll be really cool. And I wanna do a little bit of like a soft like wing and then maybe smoke out that underneath with some of those like warm purples. I think that'll be really fun. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm happy that I'm at least leaving the house today. Yesterday, I did not leave the house at all. <laughs> all I did after filming was work out and play Disney Dreamlight Valley. So nobody got to see my makeup except for you guys. So I'm excited that I'm actually leaving. I'm seeing my mom today. We're not doing anything crazy. We're just gonna like window shop at TJ Maxx, but it's, it's nice to have an excuse to like wear my makeup. <laughs> and not just wear it just to take it off. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit more of Icon on this fluffy brush, the Sigma E40, just to blend and blur it just a tiny bit more before I deepen it up and add my shimmer and all that jazz. So next I wanna take Classy. I'm gonna start with the Sigma E42 brush, just like this small kind of precise blending brush. And I'm just gonna use this just to kind of tippy tap in that outer corner, just to add a little bit of depth and dimension. And then I'll add, and then I'll add more mustard to blend that out, but kind of like that. I'm taking just a little bit of Icon again, just to kind of brush along that brown shade, just because I don't want the brown to take over. I just wanted it to add some depth and I feel like it did really good. That's a really good combo. And then just one more swirl of Icon with that big fluffy brush. Honestly, I'm tempted to like make the whole lid matte. Oh, but I can't resist putting that mustard metallic shimmer all over my lid. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Taking, of course, my NYX glitter primer to prep. I'm gonna use this packing brush from Sigma, the E55. It's probably the ultimate packing brush, if I have to be honest. It's just the perfect size and the perfect density. Taking some of Glitz now. Oh yeah, I can already tell I'm gonna be so happy that I made this decision. I'm just gonna tippy tap this all over my lid. And I just want it to blend into all the mustardy goodness that I have going on. Oh, this is good. Swirling this from inner to outer. That is 
perfection. I just love mustard yellow so much. So now before I do the lower lash line, I do want to add my wing now just because I want to be able to smoke underneath my wing. I'm going to use the Surratt liner. You could use whatever. This is just what I'm using today. And this is always so hard for me to use on camera because um, I need to be so close to my mirror, but I'll do the best I can. Just kind of scooting it to about where my shadow ends. And I only really want to do like a half wing. So I'm just trying to creep it until it ends kind of in line with my lash line like that. Kind of sort of something like that. And then I'm just going to fill it in. And then I'm going to get really close to my mirror and perfect it because I cannot see all the details. But that's the general gist. I just need to do the other side and then make them match. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I think... That's as close as they're gonna get, and that's just how it's gonna be. Um, but let's work on the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with my pencil. I'm gonna use Compassion from Rare Beauty, kind of this reddish, kind of burgundy color. I'm just gonna be smearing this all up in my waterline, lower lash line, kind of like what I did for look number one just to get it really, really smokeified. The only difference is in look one, I really kept the smokiness low. I, this time I wanna bring it out kind of sideways, more like with that wing. So I wanna take Lust, this beautiful kind of burgundy purple. It's so pretty. I like that we have, like both palettes aren't riddled with purples. Like this one, there's only like a spotlight of purpley tone, but I like that it's more like warm burgundy leaning. Whereas in the Cool Trolls palette, it was obviously very like cool tone plummy vibes but I'm just taking this on a little pencil brush. It's a Sigma E30, and I'm just going to blend this kind of on that liner that I just did, but I am gonna scoot it kind of up and in toward that wing just a tad little bit. So next I wanna take kind of this like soft pink mixed with a little bit of lust. I'm gonna use this E38 like smaller blending brush. Like it's still a big blending brush, but smaller than the E40. Just gonna tap that off. And again, focusing a lot on this outer area and then just kind of creeping inwards just to soften things, blur it, blend it out a bit. So yeah, I like the effect of that kind of like blurred smokiness coming from below that wing. I think that's really, really pretty. I do want to take a little bit of velvet now. I'm just going to use that same pencil brush from before. I just wiped it off so that it was cleaner. And I just want to kind of tap this in the front part of that lower lash line just a little bit. And then I just want it to kind of like blend and blur into the rest of that lower lash line. If you know me at all, you know I love a lower lash line shimmer. It's honestly shocking that I didn't do that in look number one. I just felt like I wanted the the look to speak for itself. I didn't want to add more. It was already a lot going on. For a highlight, I just have to use Radiant. I'm gonna use that in my inner corner and my face. This shade is really, really cool. It has really just unique shifts to it. So I'm just gonna plop that in the inner corner. Oh, that vibrant like orange kind of gold translucent. It's so, so pretty. I'm excited to put this one all over my face. I am just loving this look. There's something so just fun and special about it. It feels very fall, which I'm very into. And let's highlight my face now with my Spectrum B08. Oh, the vibes are so good in this highlighty shade. Oh, that's so pretty. I am very, very happy with this. Look number two is complete. I love this. I think the vibes are so good. That inner corner as a face highlight, like it's just, it tied everything together. I love these rich golden mustards all over my lid, the warm purple on the lower lash. This is so pretty. I love just kind of like the soft kind of wing with it. Oh, it's so good. These lashes are the same flirt lashes from Bright Lashes that I wore in look number one. And then my lip today is Golden Rosen from Kaleidos. I guess I did two lip clays for this video. It wasn't intentional, but I don't know. Both of these looks just kind of called for a weird lip and I love it. I think it's so fun. I don't know what's my favorite between look one and look two. I'm gonna have to ponder <laughs> and get back to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun creating these looks, playing with these two palettes, like such different vibes, such completely different looks. I, I'm still torn. I can't decide which look is my favorite. Was it look one, the like very smoky, blown out, blue, purple situation? Is it this one giving fall vibes? 
I don't know. I love them both, so you're gonna have to tell me which is your favorite. I'm feeling so good about these palettes. The Cool Trolls is just like truly a cool tone lover's dream. I feel like this is great if you love color, but you also do like a muted kind of smoky situation. This is gonna be for you, or even if you're into cool tone neutrals but wanna like dabble into some color, I feel like this would be a fun kind of safe way to do that because these are very, again, muted colors. They're not neon or super bright. I feel like these play really well with cool tone neutral tones. Um, I just think this is beautiful. The shimmers are amazing. I'm so inspired. I just, I love these vibes. They're so good. And then the neutrals I'm so pleased with. I just, I get like dusty, muted desert kind of vibes with this. It is so cool. These shimmers are unreal. I love all the different multi-chromes. I'm so attracted to this shade. I'm gonna be playing with the shade ASAP. Just stay tuned. Um, I just love this. I think it's so fun. As someone who doesn't typically enjoy just like basic neutrals, this was taking a neutral palette and really giving it such a good grungy twist. I think it's beautiful. I think these colors all play together so nicely. I'm very inspired by it. I'm feeling just so good about both of these. I think this was a great idea for a launch. I think these play together so well in their own field and I think they added something new to the brand that they didn't already have and I'm just loving it. I could totally see myself traveling with either of these palettes. I could see myself reaching for them again and again. I think they're really, really beautiful. The formulas are amazing. Cosmic Brushes is truly one of my favorite brands and I think this is a super fun launch. This was a way to do neutral things that make me happy. <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts though. Do you plan on picking these up when they launch? Have you tried anything from the brand before? I think the Muse palette is still my favorite from the brand, but I could see these ones being pretty high up there, but really I haven't tried a Cosmic Brushless palette I don't like. I'm not even at a place where I feel comfortable doing a ranking video yet. Maybe after another launch or two, but just know I'm really enjoying these. If you made it to the end of this video, based on the vibes of the two palettes, the Cool Trolls or Nude Trolls, leave emojis that kind of reflect either palette, depending on which one you like more. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. And if you wanna, you can subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. Also, you can join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.